Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. Let's understand that what the Splunk does first of all. So Splunk mm -hmm. is a log monitoring tool we have. So right now the Splunk has come with many suits over there like they have even started the APM also application performance monitoring but we are going to mostly focusing on the log monitoring portion over there. That's what expertise mm -hmm. or how the Splunk started. If you talk okay. about the APM application performance monitoring, you have multiple like app dynamics. You have you have the uh, Dynatrace. We have we have a lot of the other tools which are specialized in the APM part or data doc we have mm -hmm. for this one out. But for the monitoring, we have the Splunk. We have that is the expert or you can say the market leader we have. But the mm -hmm. downside we have is a bit costly. So you have Correct. mostly observed that only the company which is well established who have huge amount of money with them they only prefer or they can afford the Splunk that's one of the downside we have but mm -hmm. if you can compare the features and facilities what the Splunk provide it's nowhere even closer to any other company I'll tell you the classic mm -hmm. difference so first understand how the Splunk work so okay. now let's understand that this is one of your application we have okay mm -hmm. and this application is going to send the data to Splunk mm -hmm. So like why this is one of the application and there's a lot of the users are trying to log in over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. so a lot of users are going to log in over there. Whenever the login is going to happen, it's going to create a log. And that log is going to send over there in Splunk. Mm -hmm. Now what is going to happen over there is that once the data come inside the Splunk, it's going to uh, you can create a alert or the report or you can say a lot of dashboards over there with the help of that particular log. Now, for example, is this particular user, U1, okay? Try mm -hmm. to log in inside the Splunk with the wrong password. Okay? Correct. Incorrect credentials, he is using it out. And because of that, what is happening over there is that it's going to trigger one, uh, what do you say, mm -hmm. uh, log, which is showing the authentication mm -hmm. as false. Mm -hmm. So if you think from the security standpoint, if it's happening multiple time, it's a kind of some kind of threat we are going to have. Like you have seen in the mm -hmm. bank, perspective also like when you're trying to log in into the bank using the online portal and using the wrong password multiple times it's going to disable your account it's a very common thing which is happening in all the Correct. internet banking similar thing we have other applications where you can block the account for one hour four hours so that to avoid any of the forceful uh, intrusion into your server or your application mm -hmm. so now for example this particular user u1 has tried to log in three times with the wrong password mm -hmm. now what is going to happen next now, if he's tried to log in already with the wrong password, it's going to create an uh, alert. We are going to alert. set up the alert. And that alert is going to showcase the false over there. Mm -hmm. That alert is going to trigger it out because of the congruent false logs we are receiving it out inside the Splunk. Right? And because of that, right. it's going to trigger the alert. And that alert, we can add the script over there, attach the script, Python script, that is going to lock his account or we can have the email notification also that is going to notify the user as well as the application mm -hmm. owner over there. Okay, somebody's trying to have the forceful login inside your server. So this mm -hmm. is one of the simple use case how the user can using your app, you can use from the security standpoint. Mm -hmm. Similar way, the application is, when the application is running, is going to create a logs, right? And these logs are sending inside the Splunk, so we can even have the operational data also. We can define that mm -hmm. what is the CPU utilization is there, what a disk utilization is there, what is the uh, memory usage is there, how the the application responding, when is the load on the server is high at what particular time. So a lot of the uh, you can say activities you can track down over there using the Splunk, right? Mm -hmm. Apart from that, like. We all using some of the other, uh, we have a deep type concept over there. When I say the deep type concept, I mean to say is that you can go deep inside a data set. Like for mm -hmm. example is we all are using some or the other telecommunication network over there. Like someone is using Geo, someone using the Airtel, someone is using the Vodafone. Like with N number mm -hmm. of the users are using that one out. Okay? okay. So now what is happening over here is that you are going to raise the request or you can say complaint. Mm -hmm. Because it's a common thing, like sometimes you feel that the uh, 
call drop is happening right it's frequent mm -hmm. sometime you finding that call drop is happening sometime you find some other issues are over there right so every time you're seeing that sometimes you're seeing the billing issues are there so mm -hmm. every time you're seeing some of the other set of the issues over there network issues there right so now for example mm -hmm. is 100 complaints are being raised in a single day mm -hmm. This is a simple example and here if you can deep dive you can deep dive into the different different category wise whether it's a network issue billing issue is there or the some kind of the add-on is getting activated automatically like a lot of time it happens that you complain that you didn't activate the add-on of your own it got automatically activated right correct so Likewise, you get the network issue. You can again drill down on the locality wise, locality one, locality two, locality three. What is the overall activities over there, right? Out of 100, you can find mm -hmm. okay, 30 in the locality one, 20 in the locality two, 10 in the locality three. So now being a leadership who's sitting mm -hmm. over there, who's seeing the 100, he can easily find out that, okay, 30 is from the locality one. So if you're going to fix the issue in the locality one, this means that you can cut down the overall ticket by 30. 30% directly correct and not only mm -hmm. the current ticket even in the future also you're not going to receive any of the issues from that particular locality because you fix it out so that's mm -hmm. all known as the deep dive concept over there where you can go deep inside your data set and try to find mm -hmm. out the actual issues which is happening over there mm -hmm. makes sense what I'm trying to say yep so these are the different set of the use cases we have where you can use the Splunk thanks for watching the video for full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.